Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Uniquely Divine LLC, and I have already grounded my energy, staged my cards, and my space to be able to give you guys the best energetic message. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to be able to connect with you through these cards. And I call upon Archangel Michael, my ancestors, and the Divine Spirit of Life for protection so that I can give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages for the betterment of all those involved. So it is, so it is, and so it is. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, two cards came out. The first card is a wedding. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it reads, Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into faith and love, dearest one. So, someone here will be getting married or proposed to. And the second card out is Blessing in Disguise, and it reads, What appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in Heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. So, you are needing to trust in the divine. Moving on to the next deck. Clear, honest, and accurate messages here from my collector. Okay. The first card out is Mature Man. Okay, so this reading can be significant significant to a mature man, someone who is older or just mature. Wealthy man is out next. So, I take this as a father figure or someone who will be the best man in a wedding or a close friend of the mature man. last card out from this deck is journey so something is very significant to the journey between these two male friends okay so or this could be just a couple who one operates in the masculine energy and she's a female and one is also a male or this could be a same-sex relationship Okay, two fell out, and the first card out is no, so something is no. If you ask spirit a question, the answer is no. Okay, and abundance is out next. So, you'll be having abundance around you in the near future. That's what that looks like. Oh, okay, no. It says this situation will improve so be looking for this situation to improve moving on to the next deck courage is out next and it reads i find the inner strength to face my fear with confidence so, you are needing to 
face your fear with confidence. Whatever you fear, face it with confidence. Okay, peace is out next, and it reads, I am a being of love, and I release all negativity. So, you are needing to release all negativity in order to reach a peaceful mind state. The last card out from this deck is Perseverance, and it reads, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So you are needing to persevere through your hardships. Moving on to the next deck. Two fell out the first one out is freedom so maybe someone here is getting released from papers or someone is actually freeing themselves from mental entrapment or this is someone freeing themselves from a relationship the next card out is career so something is very significant to your career maybe it'll be taking off Maybe you are just now finding out what you want to do as a career. Or you are needing to put together a plan to bring about a career. Okay, truth is out next. So maybe you are needing to speak your truth to someone around you. Or maybe you will be hearing some truth about someone around you. Okay, and okay, just like I said, finding is out next. So you'll be finding out the truth about someone or a situation moving on to the next deck Okay, the Queen of Wands is out next. So this is an attractive person. If this is a man, you are attractive. If you are a woman, you are attractive. Okay, so the next card out is the Eight of Pentacles. So you are putting in a lot of work towards this attractive woman or putting in a lot of work towards this wedding with your attractive person. Okay. last card out from this deck okay well two fell out well three three fell out so the page of cups is out next so maybe you are in your head about something or you will be getting challenging um Confirmations. I was going to say confirmations. So maybe you are getting challenging information regarding a situation or a person. Yeah, like I said, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords out. This is the ultimate betrayal. This is the ultimate backstabbing and trickery, okay? So maybe you are calling off the wedding. Maybe you will be calling off the wedding. So two men did pop out. So maybe someone is finding out that someone is sleeping with their partner's friend. Moving on to the next messages. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to get three cards from this deck before I close out this reading. I want to be known for it. Okay. It's a 
big thick. So this is one that I made. Okay, okay. So the first card out is Gemini. So this reading definitely could be significant to a Gemini, no matter the placement. It could be your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising, any placement in your birth chart. Okay, 18 hours. So maybe this will be happening within the next 18 hours. Oh, lies, trickery, and deceit is out next. And then the next card out is apply more pressure. So someone here is needing to apply more pressure. The next card out is setup artist. So you are needing to realize you are with a setup artist, no matter if it's a man or a woman. Okay, and the last card for this message is saying tower moments are meant to move you along your right paths. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Oof, this is some intense woo, energy. I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out. So if you like my vibe, I am uniquely divine. Follow me on Facebook and also subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you.